okay, I'm going to show you that the ESV perversion of the Bible teaches Jesuit heresies on salvation. The Jesuits, they believe that salvation is not just a one-time event, but a process continued through works. And I'm going to show you that from the Jesuit Council of Trent. It says here, in the sixth session in the uh, canon, one of his Roman numerals, if anyone say that the justice received and is not preserved and also increased before God through good works, but that the said works are merely the fruits and signs of justification obtained and not the cause of increase thereof, let him be anathema. What are they saying? That it's a process of works. It's not just one once and done. Well, I'm going to show you that the ESV says the same thing. In 1 Corinthians 1.18 in the ESV, it says, For the word of the cross is folly to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. Hmm. Being saved? That would be a process. Um, 1 Corinthians 15, 1 to 2 says the same thing. 15, 1 to 2. Now I would remind you, brothers, of the gospel I preached unto you, where you are, where which you received, in which you stand, and by which you are being saved, again, being saved. If you hold fast to the word I preached unto you, unless you believed in vain. Being saved? Again, it's a process. You're being saved. It's not just once and done. It's You're being saved. It's a process. They're, they're making it into a process. They're teaching Jesuit heresies. 1 Corinthians 2.15. That's why I say these modern Bibles are Catholic. Uh, For we are the aroma of Christ to God among those who are being saved and among those who are perishing. So you're being saved. Now, what does the Word of God say the King James Bible? Because you see here, they're teaching what the Jesuits believe. That grace basically, it, well, they don't come out and openly say it, but it's the same type of thing. Salvation, you get saved, and then it's a process of where God, he gives you grace over time. It's a heresy called infused righteousness. It's not biblical salvation, because biblical salvation, from the Word of God, I'll show you that, is once and done. This is from the Word of God, the King James now. 1 Corinthians 2.15 For we are unto God, a sweet Savior of Christ, in them which... Are, for them that are saved, and in them that perish, are saved. Present te- or past tense, once and done. First uh, Corinthians fifteen one to two. One, there it is one two. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which ye also have received, and wherein ye stand, by which ye or by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory which I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain, are saved. Present tense. Or, I mean, sorry, past tense, not present tense. Past tense. Past, it's a past event. Happened once and that's it. 1 Corinthians 1, 18. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but, to, but unto us which are saved, it is the power of God. Again, are saved, past tense. Saved, it's done, it's finished. Like Jesus said on the cross, it is finished. It's not like some continual like uh, cannibalistic mass, Catholic, the Catholic mass ceremony they do. Because the Catholics, they, they turn salvation into a process. They don't believe that it's once and done. And these modern Catholic perversions of the Bible are turning salvation into a process. You're being saved. You're being sanctified. You know, you, you have to obey Christ to be saved in terms of doing works. You know, it's not once and done. Because in the King James Bible, the Word of God, it's, it basically teaches that when you're saved, it's Jesus Christ who saves you. You don't save yourself. But in these modern Catholic perversions of the Bible... They're making out like you have to save yourself through works. So don't be deceived. The Jesuits are putting out these modern perversions of the Bible that are teaching work salvation and turning salvation into a process of works instead of being a one-time event as the Word of God teaches. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.